everyone this is Trent over here again at TOs and we're gonna do a little upgrade on this 2014 Jeep Wrangler JK uh, this is the wife's vehicle so we're gonna put some bigger wheels and tires get her a little flashy in order to do that we're gonna put a lift on it so got a rough country kind of a low end lift gets it up enough to clear the wheels and tires but we ain't going off-roading with it so at least as far as I know and uh, at least not seriously so give you a little before and after and then uh, let's see how we get her done see what you think afterwards if we've done well or not so yeah this things I actually like the way it looks just in stock trim and stock wheels they're 18s with some uh, radials but rides really well won't ride as well after this I'm sure so there's your look before I was part way through fortunately have a lift so it makes this job a little easier Here's like the stock stuff coming out. Spring is actually loose. So there's the upper mount, lower mount. Had to disconnect the uh, track bar, the sway bar link. It's going to get changed. Took this control arm down over here took the shock lower bolt out and got to do the upper switch that same on the driver's side springs are out we'll throw the new ones in and raise that axle up and uh, start sending the new stuff in Okay, I'll show you my favorite part of this job so far, and that was they wanted us to widen those holes. It's a square hole. They want to turn it to a rectangle. They said it was perforated. So here's what it looks like after I'm done, but uh, definitely not perforated enough. I tried rotary like die grinder, I tried to fit a four and a half inch angle grinder in there. Nothing worked. I, they recommended a chisel. That's retarded. And so what we got, what I ended up doing is using my plasma cutter to make that rectangular hole out of a square that they said should knock out. That was probably the uh, toughest part of this so far, but now it works, so got a uh, cam bolt, it's a uh, weird shape, see it's got a flat on it, and so put the cam washer up to, there's a couple notches you can't even see very well, but as you twist this around it'll move that bolt forward and aft in that slot as needed for this control arm so yeah getting her done was taking three times as long so fun times okay here's the front springs and shocks in Look good. A different bracket there for the track bar and the stabilizer. And then some different bolts in there for the lower control arms. And here is the start of the rear suspension. So it took the 
track bar down and took the shocks out and took the brake bracket loose. Just following the instructions here, so nothing crazy. The back is quite a bit easier. And then I gotta put a bracket, different bracket on here for the track bar. But coming right along, just have the those are the old parts, just have these shocks to throw in there. We'll be good. Lifted. Alright, here we go. Finished in stock wheel trim until the wheels and tires show up. So there you go. Yep, that's a good four inches taller. And I severely underestimated how long it would take. That would take a couple hours, two, three, four hours. It was probably double that. She's all together. Looking forward to seeing how she goes with the new wheels and tires. So I'll give you an update then. Okay, we're back. And here we have the final product of Project Lift the Wife's Jeep. And this really was her idea, not just mine. Uh, she wanted the lift and the tires, so good on her. Got a four inch rough country lift. We've got 20 by 10 Moto Metal Razor wheels, the M0978. That's also a minus 24 millimeter offset, so it gives a little more dish, about a one inch larger dish than a zero offset. These are 35-12-50s for tires. They're uh, made by Rolling Big Power or RBP. And they're the Repulsor MT. So I, I'm really happy with it so far. We'll see how uh, much longevity the tires have. So they're a little bit cheaper than like a Toyo Open Country MT. Little walk around. I think she did a fine job picking wheels and tires. I gave her a little bit of help. Yeah, I'm happy with the result. There's no rubbing or issues on that suspension lift so there you have it it's a little bit taller to step into now and actually it uh, drives really well too I was concerned that putting a, a lift albeit it's a cheap lift and 35 1250s that it would ruin the ride and it is not bad at all I'm actually happy with it Rides real smooth. So, overall success. Several thousand dollar success. It was like three grand for the wheels, tires, and then 500 for the lift. So, hope you enjoy it.